it is the PlayStation 1 version still, though. Um, it's just, like, I own it through the PlayStation Classics. Uh, I bought it on the PS3, PSP, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I had so much trouble getting it all set up, because I thought it was on my PlayStation 1 Mini. So that's what I originally set up, which, you know, that, that was fine. That went easily enough. But then, uh... But then it wasn't on there. Hello. Hello, everyone. Nate, Noodle, anyone else who may have made it in already? Hello, guys. Welcome to tonight's stream for the PS2 Gauntlet, man. Game number, I'm pretty sure, 99. I didn't double check that before I did the stream. Maybe I should have. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I think we're on game number 99. Getting awfully close to 100, man. We're, we're getting there. Um, I mean, I don't know what game I want to play for game 100. Maybe we'll pick something different. Anyways, tonight we're playing, uh, Ben 10, Protector of Earth. Hopefully it's better than the last Ben 10 game. Because the last Ben 10 game was not great. It was, uh, it was a game that we played. Oh shit, you know what? I think this is the 100th game, actually. Looking at my list now. So, hey, happy 100th game special. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a uh, late 100th game special or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't even know what, like, we would do for a 100 game special. Though, like, I do think it's a good idea. Like, uh -huh. in the canyon. I'm going to go hack into the ranger station cameras. Maybe we can get a closer look. Don't bother. Leave this to a professional. I'll just accelerate over there. 100 in quotation marks. <laughs> it's hero time. Uh, go mighty Omnitrix power. So, Gwen, what do you have from those ranger station cameras? Yeah, I mean, we could totally do like one of my favorites or something like that. Um, I mean, I think we already played Kingdom Hearts, but I don't think we've done Kingdom Hearts 2 yet. That's, that's one of my favorites. Did we do God of War 2? I don't remember, but that's another one of my favorites. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, I know we've done that. Sly Cooper, I don't own another copy of. I did growing up, but, uh, as I've talked about on stream before, I have lost damn near all of those games, if not all of them. I'm still hoping to be able to fing that, fing them? I'm still hoping to be able to find them. My cousin may have them, but I haven't had the chance to, you know, go to his house and look or, or get a hold of them or anything like that. Anyways, though, let's uh, focus a little bit on Ben 10 Protector Verse. Use L2 and R2 to choose an alien form. Press R1 or R3 to transform. Okay. So we can we can choose our, our aliens. More. And, uh, okay, so this is, this is the same one that we had before on the last one. I'm pretty sure we had this alien as one of the options. Okay, he's got he's got he's got attacks that he can do. Square is light, triangle is heavy, circle is special, X is jump. He can double jump. Cool. What's the uh how do we can, can we end it? We can. What's the other alien? It looks like forearms or something like that. What is the backpack? Oh no, that's not a backpack. That's a that's a mecha robot apparently. Okay. <laughs> sure it is. Yep. Oh. These drones uh, are hi. armored but they attack in swarms. You'll need to destroy them quickly. Okay. Press... Okay, we figured all that out by ourselves, game. So, uh, look. I'm a little bit worried just because so far this seems very similar to the last Ben 10 game. And, uh... Yeah, the last one wasn't great, man. I mean, at least so far the game, I think, looks a little bit nicer so far. Um, it's really hard to say, though, you know? Because, I mean, like, it looks like it might be a slightly lower resolution. Or maybe I just don't have smoothing turned on at the moment. Uh, but it, it, it looks more, you know, more varied, more colorful. From what I remember, I'm going purely off memory here. And it has, like, the comic book outlines on some things, which is kind of nice, you know? A little bit of, not like cell shading per se, but, but cell shading-esque vibes to it. But gameplay-wise, so far, it seems to be basically the same as the last one. You know, just a, a side-scrolling brawler, which, nothing wrong with that type of game, but it's not my favorite type of game, generally speaking. 
when it's done good though, it can be a lot of fun. We're gonna end up fucking dying here, dude. These these drones got some power before them. Collecting yellow Omnitrix points lets Ben unlock new alien abilities. Okay. Collecting points lets us do things. That's uh every game ever. Chrono crystals. Using attacks drain your Omnitrix. Collecting green chrono crystals recharge it. It's a new one in the yeah. emotes thing. You think you saw a few more e new ones too? That's cool. Must uh, Twitch must have added some new global emotes or something. Can transform back to Ben at any time by pressing the transform button. Imagine that. Move heat blast near fires and he will absorb and extinguish them. Really? That's a uh, interesting. Okay. Ben can also fight like the last one. In fact, his attacks feel a lot faster. Oh, cool. You got we got combos. We got jab, roundhouse, power kicks, uh, double jab. Uh, I'm sure there's some other ones. Triangle square, uppercut. Cool, I guess. Oh uh, shit, that's not the button that I wanted to press. <laughs> All right, so he just so we just gotta we just gotta run into the flames, just touch them. Yep, that's that's how you clear debris. You just you just punch it, and then suddenly it all disappears. Heat Blast Glide. Double jump with Heat Blast by pressing X twice while jumping hold X and he will glide. We died. <laughs> G fucking G us. Man, Ben 10's a real fucking beast, ain't he? Can literally just punch rocks apart just in his normal form, dude. That's pretty dope. Fuck! That's not the right button. This one. What does L1 do? Block. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, shit. Okay, you can't let go of X. If you let go of X, you get fucked. <laughs> So just double press X and and then hold. Collect Sumo Slammer cards to unlock special features. There are three Sumo Slammer cards in each main level. There's three of them, guys. Holy fuck. We get to collect three cards per level. Oh, good. The terrible one-liners. Blocking stops attacks. Yep. Hold L1 to block. Uh, we kind of, we figured that already too. DNA. aid Collecting a red DNA aid refills your health. Okay, I mean, that's uh, it's good to know, I guess. So yellow is some kind of experience thing. Red is health, and green is our ability to transform. Am I getting that right? Floating Omnitrix points can lead to and reveal hidden Sumo Slammer cards. Follow the trail and see where they lead. Okay. Wow. We got a hidden car. Okay, that uh, hover ability doesn't last all that long either, does it? What are my other favorite PS2 games, though? Honestly, like other than Kingdom Hearts, uh, Final Fantasy 12. I really, really like Final Fantasy 12, but I've never like finished finished that game, like done everything. So uh, I don't know if it counts, man. Picking up an atomic power grants double damage to all attacks for a short time. Uh, that's nice, I suppose. What's his, uh, does it like auto lock on or do we have to lock it on? It looks like we have to lock it on. Good to know, good to know. Also, what happens if we run out of health with one of the aliens? Do we just turn back into Ben or are we dead and have to start over? These are important questions, man, that we need answers to. I mean, okay, so we've literally been playing for like, what, 10 minutes or something like that? Eight minutes. Eight minutes we've been we've been playing. I mean, and so far, I would say that it's better than the first one. So let's uh let's hope that that stays true. You know, that trend continues beyond just the, the first ten minutes. I do like the, the, the strong outlines on everything. I like that. I think it I think it looks nice. Looks crisp, clean. Ow. <laughs> we gonna die. That's okay. Oh, they got uh they got combos too. Jab and burn, a hot foot. Rising heat. Uh I don't like the laser boys. Can we can we kill the laser boys? Ow. I said kill the laser boys, not uh not get hit by the laser boys, please, Mr. Heatmore or whatever the fuck your name is. Uh, oh, we're looping back around. Okay. Cool, I guess. 
I don't like how hard it is to see where you're going in some of these sections. Like, if they're going to make it like a side scroll. Oh, shit. We're... <laughs> we are Ben. <laughs> uh... If it's going to make it like a uh, side-scrolling action beat-em-up game, then it should really just be side-scrolling, or it should give you like some control of the camera, at the very least, better camera angles, so that you, it, it's more clear whenever you're supposed to be moving toward or away the camera, away from the camera. IMO. Like, this here's not bad, you know, because all the places that we're jumping are in front of the camera. Um... Collecting a Chrono Crystal boost makes the Omnitrix recharge faster. Very cool. But like right there, you know, whenever we were jumping from there to here, we really couldn't see where we were jumping. The only reason we knew to go there was because we saw it on the way over. And then we just kind of had a hope for the best. What I do appreciate though, even though like real-time shadows are nice and everything like that, whenever you have a platforming game, it's oftentimes more helpful to have a fake shadow on your main character or even on characters in general um that is always rendered directly below them that way while you're jumping around and shit like that you can see where they are relative to the ground while you're in the air right because whenever you jump since that shadow is directly under us here at all times you can tell exactly where you're where you're gonna land there's no there's no guesswork for it it's helpful for enemies to have that as well that way you can kind of tell where the uh where the enemies are I probably should have read that a little bit better. Did it say something about the ramp? You need cannon bolt to use that ramp. Oh, okay. Some areas cannot be reached unless you have the right alien form. You can return to a location you have completed any time. So this is almost exactly like the first uh, Ben 10 game that we played. This is very, very similar. Just maybe a uh, slightly more polished version of it. Oh, they put a tree there. Did they put that tree there just to stop me from jumping over it? Can we not grab onto ledges either? I think they did. Those bastards. <laughs> Hold on a second. What if we use the other one? Because the other one, he can he can hover a little bit. Can we maybe hover around that? Probably not. They probably... I'm sure someone tried it. Yeah, no. Okay, there's the like... Yeah, there's a whole giant invisible wall there. Very well. Very well. Um, also, I can't help but notice... Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think we could actually jump over that with heat more here. A heat dude? I don't know his fucking name, dude. Heat shield? Whatever. The side quests in Cyberpunk are great. Um, I've, I mean, I've done a few of them, of course. I haven't done that many. Um, but I know one of them has Jesse Cox, the YouTuber in it. One of my favorite YouTubers from back in the day. Uh, I haven't watched him as much recently. Although these days he does a five minute gaming news series that I, I do quite enjoy. Um, I just find he, he mostly did like let's plays and, and, uh, and stuff with friends and stuff like that and i just find i don't have a whole lot of time anymore to to watch stuff like that is the only reason i don't really watch him still a really interesting guy though and him and krendor have a uh, little shorts that they do together sometimes and those are hilarious like little animated things anyways uh upgrade menu yeah so this is like this is exactly the same as what it was before man we had the same sort of like you can upgrade the dudes uh, as they they gain experience so you just you pick a dude that you want to upgrade so they all like share an experience pool and whenever you upgrade them they just they get new moves and that's about it so this is this is basically they took the first game and copied it to this one but added a new paint job is what it's looking like which is a little bit upsetting to be honest I was hoping for something a little, you know, new, maybe original, would have been nice. Just because we didn't particularly enjoy the original game, you know? Uh, whenever... Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die, dude. Whenever, like, a game I really like changes too much, I, I get upset about that. So I totally understand, like, the apprehension of changing too much as a game dev. But, uh, like, you gotta... I don't know. Sometimes you gotta make some changes, man. <laughs> Especially, I don't remember looking at the critic reviews or anything for the first game that we played. Ben 10, Earn the World. I don't remember what the fuck it was called. But I can't imagine they were that strong that they were like, you know what people really want? The same exact game again, just with new levels. <laughs> but I could be completely wrong, man. I don't know. I'm sure that's like someone's favorite game. I'm sure this is someone's favorite game. 
If I knew more about Ben 10, that would probably help a bit too. But I'm not a huge. I, I've always found Ben 10 interesting, but it kind of came on TV around the time when I stopped watching TV as a kid. So, like, I uh, I don't know that much about it. So, and it also does look like that the aliens can die as much as they want. And there's no real detriment other than the fact that when they die, you're forced to turn back into Ben. Um, I guess you do get stunned for a short period of time there, too. But, I mean, Ben can still fight. I'm, I'm sure he's not as strong as the other dudes, but he can still fight. So it's not like he's completely useless or anything like that whenever we're forced to change back. What side quests are you doing, Nate? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, not the bridge. Also, there's like... The sound design there was a huge letdown, man. Like, how are you going to have this giant... This giant uh, mech boss. How are you going to have him crushing the earth over here and then not have like some gratifying crumbling rock noises, you know? How did we get hit? We were in the air and way away from his fist. That's bullshit. What I ask, I was asking uh, what side quest you're doing if you, uh, if you're able to tell. I don't know if, uh, like it's hard to explain or, or if it'd be too spoilery or anything like that. But yeah, I'm interested. I do like the, the robotic noises that they have every once in a while though. I do appreciate that. Blocking will sell most enemy. Oh, okay. So, seriously, we can just we can just straight block the giant dude's fist. Also, did we just teleport through him? <laughs> okay. Um. Look, I mean, I like a good block in a game, but I'd much prefer if it was somewhat skill based, like uh, like just just in God of War as an example. You know, I mean, they have. Sorry, I'm speaking of God of War. In God of War, for example, they have, you know, a block button, obviously, but the block button, it doesn't make you, like, fucking invincible. Like, even as puny human Ben here, we can just, we can just block and then never take damage. I wonder if that's universal between all of the characters, though, or only for... Only for like this boss fight since it's so early in the game or something. I wonder. The Outacado side quest with Pan Am. Yep, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't figure I honestly would, but hey, I thought I'd ask anyways. One of these days I'll get around to playing some more of it. Cyberpunk, I mean, 2077. You know the life pack? That you picked yeah i don't remember the name of them but it was basically like the the ones that traveled around and uh like scavenged and fixed things and whatnot that's the one i picked i don't remember what what, what they were called though i started like out in the desert with nothing but a car inside some dude's garage and then had to follow a short quest line to to get back or to get into the city, I guess, not back into the city. As far as I, I can remember, it was like my first time in the city. I literally cannot hit him because I'm stuck inside of his fist. We we clipped inside his fist and we're doing no damage at all. That's, that's awesome, man. It's working with one of those groups that you picked. Okay, okay. Uh, get stun locked, bitch. I don't like how we have to turn into Ben 10 to do these quick time events before we can do them. Like, it would be nice if it just kind of worked, honestly. Fuck you. I'm trying to pick up my stuff before it despawns. Like, that health. I mean, we had full health already. We probably didn't need to really grab any of that stuff, but you know what? Fuck off. <laughs> I like grabbing stuff. What's taking you so long? Just attack me. I wonder if one of the the side effects of the 
the the special move he has the the boulder thing is like stunning people or something because it seems like oh no i guess it's not every time i was gonna say it seems like every time i hit him he seems to kind of pause up a little bit but there we go get fucked big bad oh shit <laughs> uh that was totally intentional i wanted to see what would happen if we messed up the thingy definitely didn't do that on accident and fuck it up nope not me anyways you pick street kid but you meet pan am during one of the main quests and there's a whole side quest line you can go on that's cool dude what other than the beginning how much of a difference does it really make like the different lifestyle or whatever that you pick does it end up having a huge impact on the game or is it pretty pretty minimal is it gonna be the same i think that i think it was circle yes rip it out remove iron man's fucking heart piece dude this is totally knockoff Iron Man. I don't care what anyone says. A gigantic worse Iron Man. Plumber rank? Great. We're plumbers? I'm assuming that has something to do with the show. We're probably called, like, plumbers or something. Because, I don't know, we deal with problems. And sometimes people pee themselves. I don't... <laughs> I knew there was some reason my watch wasn't working. This robot looks like it must have used your Omnitrix crystal to power itself. Now the only question is, where are the rest? Someone sent that robot knowing that Ben was weakened. We walked right into a trap. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is takes place before the other game, right? This is earlier in the uh the the Ben 10 lore. I don't know if this one was made first or second, but so fast you can't even see it. He definitely looks younger and is acting younger. And I remember that old man. And I think that that older man was in the original series that I watched. Because I never watched like the, the slightly newer one once he was, a I don't know, a teenager, young adult. I don't know what he was supposed to be. The main change the life path makes is some responses you get. It was supposed to do more, but it got chopped, sadly. That's too bad, man. Because, uh, I don't know, it would have been cool if, like, you could do three different playthroughs and have essentially three entirely different, uh, experiences, you know? Hey, what's up, Psycho? Looks like it's from earlier. Hey, thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it is, man. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is from earlier. It definitely looks it. Like, the characters look younger. They're acting younger. We don't have like the 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 bully dude here with us. Making null void portals is plumber technology, and nothing has ever escaped. Look, more drones, and they're attacking a group of Forever Knights. Forever Knights? Maybe Enoch is behind all this. Talk about getting caught between a rock and a hard place. Whose butt am I supposed to kick? I think all of them. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, this is definitely a little kid show shit right now. <laughs> Cannon Bolt can use ramps to clear large gaps and roll up walls. Make sure you steer him while he's in the air or you may not stick your landing. Uh, well, we don't have the ability to use him yet, right? No, we got this new guy. Ooh, he's fast. Wait, is this is this Cannon Bolt or whatever his name is? What was that? We can fucking teleport? Okay. There's no reasoning with their broken minds. So this guy is like a, a speed character. I'm assuming the the fire dude. Oh no, this is accelerate. Press circle and then to steer accelerates path. Use the F analog stick. Oh, I see. So we literally follow the path that we that we draw out, and anyone that we cross while while doing that takes damage. That's neat, actually. That's that's a pretty cool mechanic, man. I kind of like that one. But anyways, so I'm assuming this is a speed character. The heat dude is like your all-arounder. And then forearms is the the, the tank type guy. I, I, I'm assuming that's what we got going on here. It definitely feels like that. Uh, speed kill. Speed kill. It does. 
Speed does kill people, man. What are the Enochs? I really need to watch more of the show, man. <laughs> like, I have very little idea what the hell's going on. All I really remember from the show is that there's a kid and he's got some kind of watch that allows him to transform into various aliens. That's that's about all I got. I feel like I want to say I feel like they could have done something more interesting than to um than than to whatchamacallit games but at the same time uh like beat em ups but at the same time man i don't know like i can't i can't honestly think of what genre they would have made for a ben 10 game i mean you probably could have done like an action adventure like a full 3d adventure game sort of thing probably could have done something kind of interesting with that but of course those type of games were a little less common back in the day you had you know more console limitations and stuff to deal with um, I can't help but notice that we're dealing with the same enemy progression that we dealt with in, in level one. You get the, the basic enemy, then you get the version of the enemy that can shoot lasers. So I'm assuming with him, we can't go up slopes. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay. I figured as much, um, but I wasn't sure. We could use some health drops if you don't mind. There you go. Thanks, game. Uh, these guys got swords. I don't remember him talking about dudes with swords. Okay. There we go. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you and your bits. Appreciate all your bits. Criminal Razor. That's one of the moves that we're using. Okay. Way to give Accelerate. Uh, typed out in Leet Speak. The fucking most badass of moves, man. I feel the need. The need for speed. I feel basically invincible, though. Like, we've died, quote-unquote, a couple times. But every time we've died, we've just gone straight back to Ben 10. So we can, uh... So we can just, you know, repeat. Have I taken a break yet? No, not yet. Uh, my schedule has gotten shifted back a little bit. I need to update it on Twitch. But, uh, I've had to start starting at 12 instead of 11.30. 12 o'clock my time. Instead of 11.30 my time like I used to. So, uh, everything... Everything's just been kind of pushed back by a half hour. Probably until like September-esque, I'm assuming, is when I'm going to be able to to stop going live around 12 um, and go back to my normal 11.30ish. Anyways, this is all a long way of saying no. We still got like another half hour before <laughs> before I end up taking a little bit of a break. Uh, okay, Mr. Enoch, sir, if you wouldn't mind just dying. Fuck. There we go. It didn't show your show. Hey, there it is. I see. Yeah, the the it doesn't pop up on stream. That stuff doesn't. The the stretches and drinks and just all of the the stuff that you buy with points doesn't show up on there. So I actually have to like turn my head and look at the the broadcaster screen instead of just looking at the the game screen, which is what you know I spend most of my time looking at. But yeah, stand up and stretch, everyone. Get a bit of a stretch, and I know I definitely will. Everything's been feeling tight. So honestly, holy hell, this feels good. <laughs> And I pulled something in my arm. Just stretching that out a little bit feels nice, too. It's already feeling much better today than it did yesterday, though. Oh, fuck. Got to get that back crack in when you stand up, you know? <laughs> really make you feel like an old man. <laughs> crack the knees, crack the back. Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, Complete Twitch. Thank you. Complete. You did. You did. You did definitely pick a good time to stretch. It felt amazing. We're also about to die, and for some reason, we can't use the fucking D-pad in this game. And I'm I'm a D-pad kind of guy. What if we What if we turn off analog? Wait, go. Oops. No, we can't turn off analog. So we're stuck with the with the analog stick, which and we're dead. <laughs> which isn't necessarily a bad thing, is all I was gonna say. Uh, but I'm just I'm just used to using the D-pad. Um, no one's spawning in or anything? I kind of thought this place would be, like, infested with enemies, I'm not gonna lie. Can we not get in there? Okay. Oh, uh, do we need somebody else? Nope, we can just 
we can just punch right through that wall. How can a 10-year-old punch through a brick wall? Like, even if it's a uh, crumbling brick wall, how the hell can you just punch right through it, man? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what's up, Catboy? Jump, jump, sure. That's one way of healing. <laughs> uh, how are we going to... Can we, like, spin jump off that? No. How, uh, I know I'm stupid and all, but how the fuck do we get out of here? Maybe one of the aliens can jump higher. Aliens can jump higher. See that? I mean, 10-year-olds double jumping? Sure, that's a little unrealistic. But at least the aliens can jump higher, right? That makes up for it. That makes it, uh, that makes it super realistic. Right? Right? I think so. I, I, I think it's all. It gets a pass now, man, just for that. I am already bored of these Enoch dudes. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like the uh, the drones better. Um, I don't know. Accelerate seems a little fun. Let's get him a new palm bell. So that's all we get for collecting shit. See, what I want is I want a Ben 10 game made in the style of God of War or Devil May Cry, man. I think I think that's where the money's at. That would have been a good fucking game right there. Good thinking, Ben. But I don't think you can um, use that yet. Yeah, no, they said we needed, like, the speedball dude or whatever to, to do the ramps, right? I think they said something along this those lines. Has an grenade launcher. Oh, have fuck, the drones, the man. The I was just explode. talking about the drones. I mean, I don't have to get out of the way before the bombs explode. I can just let myself blow up on them or with them. Because, I mean, like, we all know whenever an alien dies, all you do is turn back into the human child that 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 took the form of the alien. It's fine. Honestly, like, the grenade dudes, I don't know, maybe I'll end up hating them. But so far, I dislike the, the, the laser dudes more than I hate the grenade dudes. Because the grenade dudes, like, aren't that bad. Honestly. Those look like weight-sensitive triggers. You uh, yeah. Figure that all, out object. already there. Uh, I don't know your name, but girl. Ooh, okay, so that healed us, and we're glowing. Oh, this is the thing that, like, doubles our attack power or whatever, isn't it? I, I bet you that's what it is. Oh, man, I'm <laughs> the same fucking one-liners. It's already getting old. I don't think this was a Nickelodeon-branded game. It, uh, or no, Ben 10 was Cartoon Network, wasn't it? Not Nickelodeon. I was just going to say, because Nickelodeon had a pretty bad track record, or has a pretty bad track record for me, man. Most of their games that I've played just haven't been that great. The uh, last Avatar game that we played was pretty bad. The, the, oh shit, okay, we're going down. The Nicktoons Unite game that we played was not great. <laughs> uh, the Ty the Tasmanian, no, not Ty. Well, it was the other one. Um, fuck, what's it? Was it the Tasmanian Tiger? I don't remember. No, Juju. Jack. Jack and the Power of Juju. Um, whenever we were playing those games, like, the first one was pretty decent, but the second and third ones were a little more iffy. Although the third one, I think, was a lot better than the, than the second, for sure. You still love your founder badge? I love your founder badge, too. <laughs> I've said it before, but I really do appreciate you guys, especially the ones that have been here from the beginning, but I appreciate all of you, dude. Whether, whether you're just here or whether you subscribe or whatever, I can't say thank you enough. Like, it, it's awesome that you guys are willing to hang out with me while I while I do this this crazy PS2 gauntlet thing. Forever Night champions are part of Enoch's elite guard. He must have placed a very high priority on this mission. Uh, did you tell him to get fucked? Because that's what's about to happen. He's going to get his act kicked by... He's going to say by like a 10-year-old or whatever, but uh, that 10-year-old just got his fucking ass kicked, dude. Better red than dead. That's that's a that's a one-liner. Oh, dude, that dude was a fucking pushover, man. Wait, can we break these stone things? I could have swore I hit the one back there when we first met the grenade dudes, but it didn't do anything. Well, my bad. Is it gonna be worth it if we take that thing, that 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 block, and move it all the way over here on this pressure pad? Or is it going to be a giant waste of time? Oh, no. There's two of them now. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Ow. 
uh, maybe run away, Ben. Oh shit, Ben might actually be in trouble. Oh, never mind, he's fine. <laughs> Speed burrow. Uh, there you go. Just yeah, just just like quicksilver your way through these guys. I do think this is my favorite guy so far, man. Look how fucking easy he took down those those elites, knights, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Go? I don't want to go. I want to grab this. I think I need uh, Juice Bro. What's his fucking name? I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna call him Steroids. Uh, we can't actually push it over there. Okay. So we have to leave it on this pressure plate. I thought maybe it was like a cool secret thing, you know? We could take it from there, push it over here, and then from here we could get through the thing. I wonder if we can use Speed Bro to get through there, though. Oh, shit. No, not dodge roll. Stay, stand on that. Transform. Circle, and there we go. DNA boost. Increases your maximum health. Very cool. Okay. So, uh, secrets for upgrades. I do, I do like that. I appreciate it. I like, I like secrets in video games. They're very nice. I like how quickly this dude moves around. Like, he feels, moving him around feels a lot better than the other ones. Although it's still not, like, amazing or anything. It's definitely better. Invincible Ice. Picking up an Invincible Ice makes Ben immune to damage for a short time. Hey, sick, dude. As a person who grew up on Ben 10, you absolutely love your names for the aliens. <laughs> I don't know their fucking names. I mean, I could, like, I could look them up. I'm sure it's in the, the pause menu or the combo list or something like that. But nah, dude. We got we got Fast Boy. We got Juice Bro. And, uh, and then we got Heat More. They're great. I'm just spamming Square. I mean, we're literally invincible right now. Oh, that was cool. We just, like, kicked that bitch up in the air, dude. That dude went flying. Uh, I'm sorry. You think... Your, your little lasers that move at the speed of light are going to be quick enough to, to catch me, Mr. Speedbro? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just jumped off of that, that section of bridge that, that crumbled, but you know what? We'll, we'll overlook it. It's fine. It saved our life, so... Red alien kind of thick, though. Hey! <laughs> You thought two arms were fun? Wait until you experience four. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that was that was a terrible run, man. We need to go through these guys, especially Big Boy. So if you grew... Oh, shit. I didn't realize we ran out of alien power. If you grew up with Ben 10, what the fuck are the, the Enoch, man? Like, what's their whole deal? Why, why are they being assholes? Over here sounding like the, the fucking Cybermen from Doctor Who. I mean, not really. They don't sound anything like them, but that's what they reminded me of. <laughs> I love how when we get close to a ledge, we don't, like, pull ourselves up or anything like that. We just kind of teleport to the top of it. Like, they, they didn't want to put in a... Uh, a ledge grabbing animation either they didn't know how or just didn't have the time so you just like you just fucking teleport up into the top of it man i love that that's the mark of a great fucking game right there dude you think they just don't like aliens i mean fair dude uh are you dead i guess he's dead ow another reason why i probably like speed boy here is because he's fucking like fast <laughs> and i i also like i just like um what's his name like like the flash and and quicksilver and stuff like that i just honestly think that's those are really cool powers like if i could have one superpower it'd probably be that of the flash not quicksilver because aging every time you you use your your abilities would fucking suck like why would I want to do that? No, I just want to fucking be a fast boy, you know? Be able to go back in time and fuck shit up way worse than it already is. Because I'm an idiot. That'd be cool as shit. <laughs> and you could also do so many other things with it, too. Like, I mean, theoretically, like, his entire biological processes work at that speed. So, like, he also 
you know, um, should be able to should be able to think million times faster than anyone else, you know. Um, but at the same time, like if you can't turn that ability off, though, I think it would be one of the worst ones to have that of the Flash, because could you imagine like just having a normal conversation with someone whenever you are literally moving like a million times faster than they are? Like, like, imagine listening to a conversation or having a conversation with someone, but everything they say, you have to, you have to play back at one one hundredth of the speed, you know, like, and, and super slow-mo. Like, that'd be so fucking annoying, and that's basically what the Flash would put up with if he can't turn off his ability. Which, so yeah, fuck that, like, <laughs> that would fucking suck. Oh, so if we don't want to follow the path, we can just press circle. Oh, shit. We, we ran out of shit. We ran out of red shit. Running out of red shit's bad. Uh, transform, please. Every time we transform, it looks like we get a full teal, too, which is which is nice. Like the original Sonic, they don't have a graphic training on the edge. So when he gets to the edge, he just looks like he's trying not to fall off like a one foot. Yeah. I actually thought that was really cool in Sonic, though. Like whenever you get really close to the ledge and he, he stands on one foot and just kind of... Like teeters back and forth. I feel like it gave him a little bit of uh, attitude or something, you know? Oh, we didn't fight a boss. We just fought a, a little gauntlet of people instead. Okay. Plumber rank great. We're fucking great, mate. Hell yeah. Tell me, what's going on here? Whose drones are those? We were making haste toward the area known as 51. Lord Enoch leads our campaign there to smite the off-world infestation. Enoch is taking over Area 51? He seeks only to emancipate it. Lord Enoch will use the technology therein to power a weapon of worldwide deliverance. To stop the Forever Knights is to deprive the Earth of its last, best hope. Enoch doesn't offer hope to anyone but himself. We should find him before he makes yeah, a Yeah, fuck that Enoch guy. Worse. Enoch guy's a dick. <laughs> I don't know what he did, but fuck him. I guess. Anyways. <laughs> Next fucking level, dude. Let's go. Save this game already. Any day now. Take your time, game. It's fine. We don't mind waiting. Save successful. Uh, no. Not replaying location. Area 51. Why is Enoch fighting with Vilgax drones for possession of the technology at Area 51? It's up to Ben to stop them both. Area they defend the Earth from anything unnatural. The oh. Used to do all its covert alien research. Not it's legally research blind, no. I, I, I have years. poor uh, eyesight, but not, not that bad. Like, I can't legally here. drive without my glasses, for instance. <clears throat> but I can still see alien without them. I can't really read chat unless I get really close to the screen, but I can still make out like what's going on in the game for the most part and whatnot without without too much trouble. I'd be happy to light the way. Oh my god, the fucking one-liners, dude. I like one-liners and puns and shit, but they're being repeated too many times. It's fucking rough. This van, I mean, it looks nothing like it, but it makes me think of the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Even though, again, nothing like it. Like, not even fucking close. But <laughs> I think, I think honestly, I just really like Scooby-Doo. So can we, can we break apart a fucking military Jeep Humvee, whatever the fuck? No. Okay. The captain uses a shield made from woven adamantite strands. You'll need to destroy it before you can harm them. Okay, so more of the story is keep pressing at square. And then eventually shield disappears. So they're the same as the last enemies. They just have a little bit more health. Got it. You can't imagine life before glasses. You can't see anything more than a foot away from your face. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not that bad. Like I, said, I, can, I can see without my glasses. It's just uh, everything's uh, uh, pretty blurry. But I can still make out, like, shapes and stuff really well. And, like... <clears throat> like yeah like taking my glasses down now honestly like game wise it doesn't make it that much worse because i don't know the <laughs> the game could use a bit of a blurring anyway since you know it's a ps2 game but uh but like i can't see what the chat says anymore with my glasses pulled down 
Now pull my glasses back up and it's almost as clear as day. I'm just, uh, I'm nearsighted with a, a bit of an astigmatism, so not like terrible or anything like that. Honestly, I went a long, long time without glasses. The only reason why I finally decided to get my eyes checked was because when I got my driver's license, I had to cheat. Like I had to, I could only read it by closing one eye and even then it was a real struggle. Um, so that was my first sign that maybe I should get my eyes checked. And then also it was getting harder and harder to, to make out text on the TV. And I'm one of the people that like to use subtitles on the TV, even though I can hear pretty well, I still like to use subtitles. Um, and I watch a lot of YouTube and it was getting hard to read the titles of videos on YouTube TV, the YouTube TV app. So finally I was like, okay, I need to go. And they were like, yeah, you're pretty bad. Um, we're not gonna like tell you that you can't drive without your glasses, but definitely don't drive without your glasses at night. And we would recommend that you wear your glasses all the time. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then they told me like, you know, that I'm, I'm nearsighted, that I have an astigmatism and that I need to be monitored for uh, glaucoma because um, I had high ocular pressure. Anyways, and then I went back like a year later and they were like, yeah, your eyesight has gotten a fair bit worse. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to recommend that you never drive without fucking glasses. And like, I don't know if it's just because I went so long without wearing glasses or, or if they just got worse, but like shortly after I started wearing my glasses full time, it got like really hard for me to see at all um, without my glasses. Like, well, like it is now, you know, like I can't see anything more than, you know, six feet in front of me is, is fairly blurry um, as far as like fine details go, like, like text and things like that. Again, I can still make out like shapes and things just fine, but text and things that's just just way too blurry to, to make out any sort of detail on your parents didn't know you need glasses to your preschool check or whatever but you're almost completely blind yeah see i'm not i'm not nearly that bad i uh in school and whatnot i like as a child i actually had really good eyesight i uh remember one time when i was at the doctor's when i was a young teenager like you know 13 ish or whatever as at the doctor's office me and my grandpa used to go get our checks checkups at the same time and uh, he had me doing the eye chart from across the room or whatever. And I read from like, he told me to start like the third line down or whatever. And I read and I just kept reading. And then I started spelling out the, like the company, they had their little tag on the bottom, like the name of the company and whatnot. And I thought it was just more of the letters. So I started reading that out and they were like, yeah, okay. You just read the name of the company that's printed uh, the fine print on the bottom. So I think you're good to go. And <laughs> so like, yeah, no, growing up, my eyes were, were great. They've just uh, degraded over time you know but uh yeah i really do need to go back to the eye doctor at some point not only because i think it's probably time to update my prescription but also because of that whole glau glaucoma thing like um because yeah if i ever did develop glaucoma that can take your eyesight within like six months or something like that if you if you develop it and it, and it gets bad not that i think i that i have it or anything but you know I can't go blind too. Yeah, that would be a bit of a problem. Noodle, uh, Noodle is going blind. Um, it's 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 pretty much stopped for for her at this point. But she, uh, but there's a decent chance that she will go blind someday. Um, can these barrels even explode? Because like I'm trying to explode the barrels and it's not fucking working, dude. You can't tell the car parked in the driveway at the neighbor's house is a car. You cannot believe how bad it. That does sound terrible, man. Yeah, see, mine's mine's not even close to that. Like I can I can tell that, like I said, shapes and colors and things. I can still do all that perfectly fine. I just have problems with fine details, like reading signs. Um, if like there was a a small animal uh, on the road or something like that, I would probably have trouble without my glasses. But something the size of a human. I should be able to see, you know, that it's a human just fine. I think I, I haven't tried it, <laughs> but I would imagine I could still tell something like that just fine. Um, but I mean, like, I've noticed at work whenever I, I take my glasses off, for instance, to clean them or whatever, that like, <clears throat> I've worked at the same place for a long time and I never used to struggle with like telling who was coming down the hallways and stuff like that. Like I was able to tell who was who and things. But now, like, yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't even tell the difference between people unless, like, unless it's, uh, like, I have context clues. In that case, I can usually figure it out, you know? 
Like if, if it's someone, like if I'm around people in my department and, uh, or if I'm in my department and I see somebody like a, a, a guy with, with dark hair, like I know who I'm working with that day. So I can, you know, guess who it is pretty easily, but I can't like make out the details of their face or their clothes to tell who it is or whatever. Could you imagine if I did end up going blind to noodle? That'd be fun, huh? <laughs> you would be deaf and blind. I'll be blind. We'd make a uh, hell of a couple then. I've read a... Uh, I don't know if your sister shared it or if, or if I just saw it on the internet somewhere or what, but I saw a post about a uh, couple where the, the guy will play video games, but he's... Uh... Oh, how did it go? Was it the guy would play video games, but he's blind? So... His girlfriend would nah I don't remember it had something to do with it. it was two people and they had like opposite disabilities and um and they would they they would like switch back and forth um fuck I did not want to switch to him but uh we were about to die and I hit the wrong fucking button anyways they had like the opposite disabilities from each other so what they would do is like one would sit really close to the TV and the other would would you know sit and play and then they would work together to, to be video games which i thought was was pretty cool you wish someone could see out of your eyes your vision is uh actually laughable and are we floating i feel like we're floating anyway can't they make like those uh i, I mean it probably wouldn't be worth it but can't they make like those special glasses that 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 um can mimic like seeing out of someone else's eyes and they also make like the drunk goggle version um to to mimic what vision is like when you're when you're drunk or whatever and things like that which okay i'm not a heavy drinker in fact i haven't drank in years but i i used to drink and i've been drunk more than my fair share of times and i don't think those drunk goggles were like even a little bit accurate man <laughs> like <laughs> it definitely you, it definitely didn't uh, look anything like that to me whenever I was drunk, you know, those goggles that they would have you wear. But I don't know, maybe I was too drunk to notice how, how bad my vision was with them, or, you know, at the moment or whatever. You'll get right on that as soon as you win the lottery. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I'm sure it would not be cheap to, <laughs> to make, but hey, then people would be able to tell just how bad your eyesight is. <laughs> I just want these guys to die, please. Oh, one's down. Let's get the other one. Oh my god, more of them? I'm tired of dealing with these guys. Jesus, stop it. They would laugh their ass off. Yeah, I, uh, I've never, like, I don't know exactly how bad, but one of the guys at work talks about his eyes being really bad. His glasses are like thick as fuck too, which I know doesn't necessarily mean that your vision is any worse whenever you have thicker glasses, but uh, they are. <laughs> He's got some thick ass lenses on his uh, on his glasses, man. One of these days, I want to get the glasses that have like anti glare and whatnot, because I have a pretty bad light sensitivity. So like at night, it may also have something to do with the astigmatism. But anyways, at night, whenever I'm driving, it is fucking rough, dude. Um, whenever another car passes me with their headlights on, like even if it's not their brights on, just their normal headlights, it is really hard to fucking see anything. And, uh, and I'm sure like everyone struggles with it, I have to imagine. But like it, it, sometimes I legit just can't see the road at all like even when um even when they don't have their brights on god forbid if it's fucking raining because if it's fucking raining out dude i'm just screwed like i'm just hoping to god that i stay on the road at that point like blue eyes commonly have light sensitivity too yeah that's true that's true though the one downside of having blue eyes although on the upside People with blue eyes often have better night vision, and my night vision is pretty decent outside of whenever someone shines a fucking light in them. <laughs> it's terrible because of your astigmatism. You literally have to stop in the road and let them pass. 
Uh, see, I, I usually just, you know, pray that I stay on the road. <laughs> Most of the time, whenever I have, I don't usually drive too far out, like, away from places that I know, you know. Most of the time when I'm driving, it's, it's you know, here in my hometown and shit like that. So, like, I can, I can usually, like, I know the roads well enough that, like, for that, for that second that they're, they're driving by, I can... I can make do, um, but there have legitimately been a couple times where I was like, I might fucking die here, like, <laughs> cause yeah, I I can't see fucking shit, <laughs> and I know there's a turn coming up, and I don't know when it is, shit like that. But uh, obviously, so far it hasn't taken me out, right? Been been okay so far. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Holy fuck, we are Ben again. Uh, fucking go away. Thank you. Yeah, oh my god. Blue bros. You had a Walmart order with six drop-offs earlier in that rainstorm. You could hardly see on your way to, like, the first two drop-offs, really. See, I went to... Uh, when I went to lunch, it was pretty clear out. But when I came back, there was a bit of rain. But it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, I... I oh, shit, we're burning. Uh, but I did hear... The, the rain pick up a couple times, so. I'm not surprised to hear that it got worse. Also, did you hear the fucking sass from that from that girl? If you're only gonna think with your muscles, at least use a life form that has them. Like, fucking ouch, dude. I'm like 10 years old. Cut me, a, cut me some slack here, you know? Uh, hit the button. Thank you. I guess, you know, flamethrower from the front of our chest also work. What the hell? Oh, it's timed. Wait a second. Do I need to use Skater Boy? Or can I... Was it just because I hit it twice? It's probably just because I hit it twice. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, okay. Go down the hole? We'll go down the hole. Uh, okay. Gwen is so rude even in the show, really. Sassy little girl, huh? <laughs> Bruh, I do love barbecue so much. I miss, like, I, I want some good barbecue chicken. That's that's something I want. Or some good ribs. Some good ribs sound really good. Some of my favorite ribs come from Chinese places, and I don't know, like, <laughs> if Chinese places are known to have good ribs or not, or if I'm just fucking weird. But, bruh. I just, I, I need some good Chinese ribs. They, they were a little overcooked, but honestly, I feel like most ribs that you, that you, you find, commonly find in, in restaurants, um, are overcooked. Cause like, you don't literally want the meat falling off the bone most of the time. <laughs> At least I don't. Most of the time I want there to still be some texture to my meat, some juice to my meat, you know? Um, like I, I, yeah, I don't know, but. Uh, maybe I'm just weird. Maybe maybe other people do like their, their ribs really, really well done. Uh, I don't like this really small corridor here. I'm just a child. Also, like, okay, so Enoch are, like, talking about being protectors of the world or whatever, which, like, that's fine, dude. Sure, you're trying to, you're trying to kill aliens and shit, make the world a safer place. I can totally, I can totally get behind that. But you're literally attacking and, and like, trying to murder a 10-year-old-ish child. I don't actually know his age, but I, I assume it's it's around there. Got bad for, like, 10 minutes or so, then lightened up, and your window kept fucking like it. Oh, my fuck, dude. Wait, what? What are we doing? Do we need to use heat more? Uh, my fucking windows fog like crazy all the time, and I hate it. It fucking kills me. Uh, is that, is that what we need to do? Do we like shoot that now or something? Oh no. Okay. We just, we just had to lift it up. Oh, okay. Oh, hi there. We got a, we got a thing. Alien tech boost. Collecting an alien tech boost reduces the cost to use your alien moves. Uh, that's cool. All right. Shoot this one. Go. And then go up. Just, just working our way up, I suppose. We can do that with the, the terrible platforming that is this game. Ew, fuck. Wait till you get a grill. You'll be making some barbecue chicken right away. Fuck yeah, dude. I go out grilling probably like, I don't know, once a month on average. Like, I, I should just take some chicken and some barbecue sauce. I have done chicken on the grill a couple times, but... Uh, 
But I don't know. It's just it's so much easier to just do like burgers and potatoes and shit like that, you know, hot dogs. So <laughs> that's usually what I do. Plus, I mean, whenever I I go out to do barbecue, it's or I'll cook on a grill, barbecue, whatever you want to call it. Um, I it's usually like at a park or something. And I'm using like charcoal on on one of their grills, not like a, my at home barbecue. If it was like a my at home barbecue, I'd probably be willing to put a bit more time and uh patience into it to make something like proper barbecue chicken or or ribs or or whatever the case may be but yeah one of these days i need to take some steaks out and cook them on the grill because that would be fantastic i haven't had a grilled steak in probably like eight years dude probably make probably longer actually for a grilled steak now that i think about it it was probably been like 11 years or some shit it's been a while I still eat some good-ass steak every now and then, although it's been a while since you and I have had some. Um, but it's it's usually cooked either in the oven under under the grill in the oven, the, the broiler, I guess, as it's usually called in America, or, uh, or, you know, like in a cast iron skillet or something like that. But give you some barbecue chicken when you make it, and you and your son are the only ones that eat it. Really? Your wife don't eat barbecue chicken? Oh, fuck, dude. I oh, yeah, your wife's, like, super picky, isn't she? Like... I always make fun of Noodle for being picky, a picky eater, but uh, but if I remember correctly, your wife's like even worse than than Noodle is. You put anti fog stuff on the window and some Rain-X, but you have not for a minute. It does help though. Yeah, I used to have the I don't remember if it was Rain-X or a different brand, but I used to have anti fog wipes that I put on our uh, that I put on our windshield, and like it helped, but I feel like the shit would wear out so quickly, and I would just get tired of putting it on, so I kind of stopped. <laughs> Bro, barbecue chicken is so good. It is. It is fucking good. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize we were dying because I was trying to see why you were ruined for all caps. Honestly, I need to just disable most of the, the Streamlabs, like, bot stuff. Because, like, that message isn't even bad. Like, <laughs> so... Yeah, my bad, Catboy, for, for timing you out for one second. <laughs> or my bot timing you out for one second. But I agree, bruh. Barbecue chicken is so good. All right. Um, I know the boss fight's getting ready to come up and whatnot. And, like, don't worry. We're going to fucking do it. But Twitch is going to make me run an ad in, like, two and a half minutes. And the last thing I want to do is have the ad play in the middle of the fucking boss fight. So we're going to take a quick break, guys. We will be back in like two, three minutes-ish, something like that, while we run the ad and shit. So, uh, yeah, BRB. It's on the PlayStation Classic, so I hook up my PS3, get that all up and going, and then uh, plug in the controller because it's dead and it's not fucking working. So... <laughs> Then I, I got ready to leave to the store to buy a whole new controller because we have a game store only a couple minutes from me, thankfully. Um, and that's when I remembered that I have a uh, I actually have an adapter. So I, I had Noodle find that adapter for me real quick. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> PlayStation 1 game, PlayStation 3 console, PlayStation 2 controller. It's uh, <laughs> it's a thing, but it's it's working. So <laughs> as long as it keeps working, I'm not going to complain. Holy shit. But yeah, I, uh, I actually had a couple save files on here. I don't really remember much of the game. I, I think I just played it for the Just One More Level podcast a while back. And that's where the save files came from. But I don't really remember, to be honest. But uh, whatever, we're starting from the beginning. On hard mode, which if I remember correctly, hard mode on Resident Evil 3 is just regular mode. Like that's that that's their normal mode. On Resident Evil 3, okay. so. We've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! Game's a little quiet. I hope there's some subtitles. There's probably not. I'll go into the options and double check, but...
Asshole? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the, the pause menu. I gotta get reacquainted with the controls here. Uh, that's just monitor adjust. I assume it looks fine. Looks good enough to me. Sound, stereo, vibrations on. I have no... Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back, everyone, to the shit show. Uh, <laughs> uh, your fault? Yeah, I mean, technically it was your fault, sure, but like, it's not also that big of a deal if people spam caps, IMO. Like, obviously, I wouldn't want someone doing it constantly, but, like, bruh, I mean, you set one message with, with some caps. Like, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I'll probably disable it. TBH. Well, okay. I'll probably want to disable it, like I do now, and then and then forget to do so. Is, is <laughs> more like what'll probably happen? How can we block the, the shots of the fucking giant that we were fighting? But we can't block the, the, the fucking thing that that dude just did. It usually lasts like a month for you, the anti-fog shit, really? I feel like that's a long time, honestly. I mean, like, okay, to be fair, like, the shit that I was using was just the wipes, which maybe the wipes just aren't as effective as, as like, the proper spray and shit is. Um, I could totally see that being a thing, you know? So maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I just need to fucking get the good anti-fog shit. Although, like, I also tried the cat crap for my glasses a lot whenever, you know, the mask mandates were a thing and whatnot. Um, and I feel like that cra cat crap almost never, almost never worked for me. Like, my glasses would still fog up to hell and back constantly, which is just annoying as shit. Also, guys, hello, Nate, Catboy, uh, Psycho, Noodle, anyone who is here, I need your help. I am running low on video games to play. And by running low, I mean I still probably have like 30 or something in my in my box of games to play. Um, so it's not like we're out or anything like that. But I'm running low on games. I am planning on going to the game store tomorrow. Um, we are like stunlocked. I am planning on going to the game store tomorrow, so I just need to know what fucking game should I be keeping my eye out for? Nate has already suggested Sly Cooper, which was one of my favorites growing up. So like as long as it's in the budget, I only have like 30-ish dollars to, to spend on video games, maybe 40, and I'm going to try to get a few. Um, so depending what they have and how much Sly Cooper is, there's a decent chance I'll end up picking up that one. But are there any other suggestions? Cheap, expensive, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, as far as like long term goes, but I am specifically trying to think of things that I could grab tomorrow if they have. And uh, yeah, Sly Cooper for sure. I know Sly Cooper's so fucking good, man. It's a great fucking game. Like I love it. <laughs> and I've only ever played the first one, so I would like to play through it again and then play the other ones. There's a danger to Earth. Surely we can help. None of you possess the strength of will to do what must be done to save humanity. But now, how does murdering a ten-year-old child help, though? I shall use the alien's own weaponry against them. Fear the universe. Enoch alone spells your doom. Fear me, universe. Enoch alone Matrix spells Crystal your doom. Using weapons? Uh, <laughs> doesn't just store DNA. sounds like you're not trying to save the universe, bro. Sounds energy. like you're trying to destroy uh, it. I hate to interrupt the science convention here, but Enoch's getting away. Hmm. In order to weaponize the crystals, first he'd need to find a place to generate absolutely massive amounts of electrical current. Some place like power plant. Some place like the Hoover Dam. Power plant. Why can't you just go on a game show like all the other know-it-alls? <laughs> I fucking like Ben, dude. Ben's my type of guy. When you get it, you have to get the liquid wine, clean your window really good. I just need to do that, honestly. <laughs> like, that alone would help a lot, just getting my window clean. Because, like, it's not bad on the outside, but on the inside, it is pretty pretty dirty. I, it's from all the condensation collecting over there all the time, or on the windshield all the time, and then, like, uh, yeah, just slowly collecting dirt and grime and shit from it from it this? being wet, condensating. Cool Specific to, to the PS2, so right? Yes, sir. Like yes, sir. Trust me, if I wasn't there? talking about PS2, then I have well, over a thousand games here. that I could play on stream. <laughs> no, he's here. He has to be here. Thanks for playing our show. We have some lovely parting gifts for you.
Mm. Fucking pineapple mango fruit squeezy. Delish. Oh, get fucked. I'm glad you're you're excited that you found the the murderous lunatic. You know what I've heard is really good for fog, but I've never actually tried. Oh shit. Um, what you call it? Fucking, just regular like Barbasol or knockoff Barbasol. So why can't we block these attacks? Anyways, Barbasol or knockoff Barbasol. How the fuck am I supposed to get away? Uh, shaving cream. Apparently that shit works really well. But yeah, I mean, I've I've never tried it though, on on like my bathroom window or just on my car windshield or anything like that. I should try it like on the, the bathroom uh, mirror, not window, the bathroom mirror and see if it does a pretty decent job, like spot test it or something like that. I'm not gonna use your Barbasol, your special edition Barbasol cans love, but just like in, in general. Kingdom Hearts, uh, yeah, I own all three Kingdom Hearts. Battlefront one and two, those are good suggestions. I don't think I have either one of those. I don't think my memory is piss poor. So, like, <laughs> I could and just forget. Ah, we were too fucking slow. Anyways, uh, but yeah, the Kingdom Hearts games I have, I've actually played a bit. I haven't completed them on stream because I'm trying to complete um, a game called Odin Sphere, which I think you would enjoy, honestly, Catboy. You should check it out sometime. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to beat a game called Odin Sphere right now. So I haven't completed Kingdom Hearts Free Chain of Memories or one on stream. But I certainly have completed them all before. We were just talking about earlier in the stream, maybe playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, not tomorrow, but the day after. Because this is technically my 100th game. But uh, we'll just, you know, do a quote-unquote 100 game special by playing Kingdom Hearts 2 on stream. Since it is quite possibly my favorite PS2 game of all time. It's hard to say for sure, because there's so many good ones, but... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I mean, that looks like it's hot. And we're, we're heat more. Heat more can't be damaged by heat, right? Heat more apparently also can't block a fucking shot to save his life. Get down here, bitch. Fight me. Fight me like a goddamn alien. <laughs> But yeah, Battlefront Runner 2 is a good suggestion, especially since uh, my I'm planning on hanging out with my brother a little bit tomorrow, too. And uh, that would be a game that we could play multiplayer, too. Ow. Okay, apparently that laser is hotter than than Heatmore can handle. Oh my god, what am I... Why am I, like, getting fucking stunned whenever he hits me, too? Like, we're not just taking hit, we're also getting fucking stun-locked for a moment. It's annoying as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh, laugh fucking away, dude. Oh my god, you suck so much ass. I hate this boss, man. <laughs> He's annoying as shit. Oh god. I hate bosses where you just have to wait for long periods of time for them to do something. And then, like, this one seems... I'm sure I'm, sure I'm doing something wrong. Like, there's gotta be a way... To fucking dodge him more effectively. Ow. Okay, we're dead. Well, like, that alien's dead. It's okay, though. He'll come right back to life. It's fine. See? Already fucking alive. Yeah, there's gotta be a fucking better way to dodge, because if you get hit, you're basically stunlocked until... until his attack's over. This whole laser beam thing makes it that much more annoying, though, because that's just an attack he does that, that we can't fucking attack him back with toward after i don't know whatever fuck you guy okay here's what we're gonna do we're not gonna jump anymore we're just gonna run away from every attack well besides that one that one we're gonna run or or jump i mean not run nope okay we got hit do something anything thank you nope that didn't fucking work that did fuck all Maybe forearms will work better in this situation. I can't tell what he's doing. He's doing the fist. 
He's fisting us, guys. Oh, so how's everyone else doing tonight, man? Everyone having a having a good night, having a good time? I'm fucking getting really bored of Ben 10, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry, we only have like a half hour more. We just we just gotta make it for like a half hour of this this slow ass torture that is this game. Playing Cyberpunk? I mean we know what you're doing, man. If it's not cyber cyberpunk, it's Skyrim. <laughs> oh my god, we actually fucking dodged the fisting! You ain't fisting me tonight, bitch. And is it just me or did his fist stay down so much longer that time? Can we can we hit him with this? Is this is that did that hurt him? I don't think that hurt him. I was hoping we could do a ranged attack kind of like on that we did with the first boss. Ow. Four times the arms, four times the hero. Yep, that's how that works. Did that hurt hurt him? I think it might have. Ow. See, in a lot of ways, this is like the first boss, except this boss is fucking annoying because we can't block any of his attacks, it seems like. You messed up your rip of Rick and Morty and mislabeled all of season one? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that sucks. That really does suck. Now you gotta re... Well, I mean, like, I, I guess technically you don't have to redo it at least, right? You could just relabel everything. Not that that's, you know, an easy task, but... Yo, oh my god. Stop the stun lock. Throw the boulder. Throw it. Hit him in the dick. <laughs> can you, like, grab one of the towers again or something, dude? So we can maybe do some real fucking damage here? Fuck. I'm, uh, I'm doing great, man, myself. I'm just, uh, I'm so happy to be playing Ben 10 with y'all. Episode 1 was actually 11. Episode 2 was 1, etc. Yep. Yep, that fucking sucks. <laughs> I need to get Rick and Morty one of these days. Well, actually, I think it's on Hulu, isn't it? Or at least it was. I need to, I need to just watch it. My problem with Rick and Morty, like, I like the, the, the sci-fi, you know, part of the show and whatnot. My problem with it is, like, all of the burping and farting jokes and shit like that. Like, I'm sorry. I just, I don't find burps that funny. Um, <laughs> like, I, I just, I, I don't know. Am I weird for that? I don't, <laughs> it just kind of gets annoying to me listening to, to Rick burp and fart constantly like in the middle of sentences and shit it's just too much for me personally but uh yeah i don't know i i, I want to give the show a chance though because from what i've seen of the show like clips that i've seen of the show and of course like the memes and shit and whatnot too like it, it seems really interesting right up my alley but it's hard for me to get past that it's on hulu and hbo max yeah see and i have access to both of those so like yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably watch it on one of those ones shortly. Well, I say that, but I mean, like everything else, it'll probably take fucking forever. I'll finally watch it like six years from now. I'm almost done with the first season of Dragon Ball, though. That's that's one thing that I have been watching. And I am all caught up with uh, Stranger Things as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. Stranger Things is really good. Uh, IMO. I would I would highly suggest that to, to anyone interested in you know 80s sci-fi stuff <laughs> it's a lot of fun it's good from what you've heard the voice of Rick genuinely gets drunk and then does his voice isn't the voice of Rick just the, uh, the isn't that the creator of the show I can't remember his name Matt Harmon or whatever doesn't he voice Rick or does it does someone else I could be totally wrong with that but uh yeah, for Dragon Ball, though, I'm on the last season or second to last, second to last season. I'm on the uh, I'm on the King Piccolo saga right now, which after after that, it's um the last Tenkaichi tournament. And then that's it for Dragon Ball, which is cool. I don't know what show I'm going to start after that. Uh, maybe Dragon Ball Z, but I was thinking of maybe doing something different because I have a lot of like movies and shows and stuff that I need to catch up on that I've been meaning to forever and just haven't had the time. Yep, it is uh, Matt Harmon. I thought it was. I wouldn't put it past him getting super drunk and doing the voice acting. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't know, though. No fucking clue, dude. We're gonna be fighting this boss until it's time to fucking end the stream. I'm calling it now. Because <laughs> it's so fucking slow waiting for him to do anything, man. Like, just fucking do... Get down here so I can attack you. Please. Like, they could have made his health bar a lot fucking shorter. Or at least made the pause after attacks. Like, when he's on the playfield, so you can get more hits. Like, you don't even really need to decrease the the health bar so much. Just give people more time to fucking hit him. Like, I'm either... Either I'm doing something wrong, or, uh... Or, or whoever playtested this game is fucking insane. I don't... <laughs> I don't know which one. Maybe, maybe fucking both even. Who knows, man? Oh, it's the other creator, Justin. I don't remember his name. Nope. I can't remember it. I, I know I've seen it from the two or three episodes I've actually watched of uh, Rick and Morty, but I don't fucking remember what it is. I just know Matt Harmon because, I mean, he's done so many shows at this point. Many of which I have enjoyed. Which is another reason why I think I would really like Rick and Morty if I uh, gave it like more of a watch than just the first couple of episodes. Because I do like basically everything that he's made. He even did the skit <laughs> for uh, for this terrible game that I played, uh, Summoner. He did a uh, little skit for that that he wrote. And they, uh, they animated, the team that made the game animated using characters from, and creatures from the game, uh, where they were all playing D&D. Like, different monsters from the game and characters from the game and whatnot were all playing D&D together. And, you know, you had the, the horny bard and the, the DM that was getting annoyed with everyone, and the guy that was just trying to get snacks the entire time, and all that shit. It was fun. A lot of fun, actually. Fucking die, please. I'm throwing rocks at your dick. Why aren't you dead? <laughs> oh, M fucking G, dude. Oh my god, I thought we could at least get one hit in there. I, I do love when you do these attacks that I can't fucking attack you, Doring. I'm glad that he's got, like, this attack where he, he fists the ground and fucking... Um... And, like, sends out the shockwave instead of, like, just trying to fist me. Because that one's relatively easy to dodge and actually gives us a moment to hit him. But I feel like that's fucking it. That one, we literally can't do anything because he doesn't even touch the fucking stage here. He just touches the underside of it, which doesn't fucking help me at all. Uh. Okay, what you gonna do? Smack the ground? Yep, yep. Smack the shit out of me. Got it. Thanks. Are you gonna punch the the, the bottom side? Yeah, there you go. Now are you gonna are you gonna do the shockwave fist? Thank you. Get a couple hits in. Does he have a repetitive pattern? It's starting to seem like he might have one repetitive pattern that he does over and over again. Ah, oh, fast boy's turn. Let's go. Kick the shit out of him, man. Fuck his life up. Show him who the real speed boy is. Oh, we almost got fucked there, dude. See, I it feels almost like they tried to model this game after God of War with the way they have these quick time events and these like larger than life monsters that they're fighting and shit like that. But it also seems like they did it very poorly. <laughs> like they tried, but it's just, it's not that good. I'm sorry. One single boss fight that took 14 minutes of mostly just standing around waiting for something to happen is categorized as good. <laughs> I feel like we should have got a fucking F rank for that, man. That took forever. Well, one more that was terrible. Get it, Grandpa? He's all washed up. We should have gotten more information from him. There's something much bigger behind this. Hey, look. Isn't that another piece of the Matrix? Why, yes, it is. Whoa, let's see who I got now. 
Uh, someone big? Maybe? Oh no, okay, this is the speedball dude. I guess he is kind of a chunky boy, ain't he? Oh great, the rolling wonder? <laughs> Try not to trip into too many enemies. <laughs> These cutscenes look like robot bounce. chicken skits. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Why is he like struggling to control some of these aliens? Didn't he already have these aliens like before they were stolen from him? Like, isn't that kind of the whole story that, that they came and they stole the, the crystals and that's why he can't turn these aliens now? So when he's retrieving them, he should already know how to fucking be them. Unless, unless that's like an ongoing thing in the show where he can just never control that one or something. Maybe, maybe that's the case. As as a non-watcher, I don't really know. Enoch's plans have been thwarted, but pockets of zealous forever knights remain and must be stopped. Okay, sure thing, boss. Let's fuck him up. Hold on to your headgear. Twice in one day. What are the odds? Oh, everyone okay? Put it this way, I don't think things are going to get much better. Wow, Ben 10's kind of cynical, ain't he? Like, <laughs> he's kind of in a mood, man. Like, Gwen, the girl, she's kind of a dick. Like, yeah. But, like, he's just kind of meh. <laughs> so this guy is like a tank that has speed. That's interesting. Uh, the one problem I foresee with this guy so far is if we get into an area where you can fall off the sides because his basic combo here sends him fucking flying across the screen, which which could certainly be an issue, you know? Okay, in our special move, we just basically like fucking bulldoze people. We go, we go full Sonic and just roll their ass out. In the show, he cannot control the Omnitrix, so if he wants Hawkeye, he ends up with someone else. Oh. I, I kind of wish they would have done that in the game now. Like, every time you turn into an alien, it's just fucking random who you get. That would have been fun. I get why they didn't, because that would have made, like, puzzle-solving sections and whatnot being uh, very problematic. But it would have been funny as shit, though. Like, if, again, if we're trying to get fucking hot guy and instead we got, I don't know, forearms, like. <laughs> what would have been really cool is if they had a way to solve any puzzle with, with you know, any of the characters. Um, but had, had, like, for instance, in a section that's covered in fire, having the solution for uh, Red Boy being much, much harder to find or something like that, like. That would have been interesting, you know? That way, like, if it was random and, and we got the character that we didn't necessarily want, we could have still completed the section, but it just would have been much harder to find out. Something like that, I feel like, would have been fun. How many fucking enemies are gonna spawn in here, dude? And it's not even, like, new interesting enemies. It's just the same fucking four enemies over and over again. Garbage toss. Fuck that, dude. Wait, are these the only five characters in the game? Is this game, like, really fucking short or something? Hold on. How long? HLTB. Uh, Ben 10. What the fuck's the name of this game again? Protector of Earth. How long is Ben 10? It's only four fucking hours long. Yeah, so we're probably already halfway through the game. Wow. I had no idea, man. Wait a second. Something's got to be wrong here. For the Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable, the completionist runtime is 6 hours. On the Wii, the completionist runtime is 37 hours? There's no way it's that much different, dude. There's got to be, like, maybe only one guy ever completed the game on Wii. That's the, <laughs> that's the only thing I can fucking... I can imagine is, like... No one ever actually beat the game on Wii, so they just have some random guy's estimate of like, yeah, dude, that totally took like 30 hours to, to complete. You know what? 37, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. 30, 37 hours. And they're like, are you sure? Because That was the entire fucking level? That one section of just fighting random fucking bros? 
That's bullshit, dude. That was fucking lame. Anyways. <laughs> and they just fucking took his word for it. Like, that's that's the only thing I can think of. Are we ready to go now? What? Are you kidding? Look at this place. You can't just leave all this junk lying around. I mean, we can. Superheroes don't have to clean up their messes, dweeb. It's one of the perks. Well, she does have a point, you know. Yeah, Ben, stop being a dick. You never see this in any of the comic books. <sighs> well, <laughs> I was hoping whenever this game came out in the uh, the the RNG picker thing that I made to to pick games for us to play, I was hoping this game would end up being a good one, man. And it's not bad. I am enjoying it more than I enjoyed the first one, but it's just it's it's kind of slow. It's pretty repetitive. It's not an amazing game, sadly. I wouldn't mind beating it someday because it's only like four or five hours long, but like, yeah. Nitromancers. And all those hippies could say was, oh, far out, man. Well, I'm looking forward to some peace of my own. I'm going to check out the latest games at the arcade, tour the chocolate factory. What about the art museums, the bookstores, the shopping? Finally, a, a real, real vacation. vacation. Miss me, Tennyson? It's payback time. Wait a second. Is that Bully, Eleven? bro? What's he doing here? I thought he was in the null void. Kevin like Eleven, that's definitely Bully Boy, right? He brought back a few souvenirs with him. It's time to welcome him home. Ice cream? Oh, you made the ice cream mix up, love? Well, thank you. Did it make enough for two, it looks like, or? Because, like, we bought, whenever we bought our last ice cream machine, we had, like, a soft serve ice cream machine that could also, like, do mix-ins and whatnot. It was, like, one of those, you know, the, the ones that you put the cone under and it does the swirl, like, DQ. It was that style of ice cream machine. And it worked okay, don't get me wrong. But anyways, point is, uh, we bought some ice cream mix to go along with that, like, pre-packaged stuff just for, you know, to make our lives a little bit easier than trying to cook uh, some ice cream ourselves or, or buy all the ingredients individually and shit. Plus, it was cheap. Anyways, we have since then, we've gotten a new ice cream machine that does a much better job at making ice cream. It does smaller batches, but the ice cream itself comes out much, much nicer than it did in that uh, saucer one that we had. But we still have all this ice cream mix, so we were like, we're just going to mix it fucking up and we're going to try making it into ice cream and like in this other machine and see if it works. I, I imagine it would. I don't see why it wouldn't. The ice cream mix is essentially, it's just like, you know, pretty much just sugar flavoring and and a couple like uh binders or whatever to help the give it like a nice creamy texture um so i don't see why it wouldn't work in our other machine but it, it's admittedly a bit of an experiment that we're doing we're not really we're not 100 percent sure how it's going to turn out you know we'll see we'll see what i have learned though from from trying a couple different ice cream recipes up, at home to burst up that wall. is that I personally seem to really like ice cream with cream cheese in it. Um, it seems to give it a chewier texture, uh, which I personally really, really enjoy, man. And I'm assuming it was the cream cheese. I'm not 100% positive. All I know is, is that I made the same recipe twice with only a couple minor tweaks. One of them being, I put like twice as much cream cheese in it the second time around. And the second time around, it had a much better texture. It had a really good texture the first time, but it had an amazing fucking texture the second time. So yeah. Which way are we supposed to be going? I'm over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just jumping our way up. Got it. You just got splattered like a bug on a windshield. Uh, yep, that's what happened. Uh, Sonic. Yellow Sonic. Super Sonic? Super Sonic. That's his name now. Yeah, oh, fuck more. Anyway, so yeah, I hope it I hope it ends up being good. What flavor did we end up doing, Noodle? I think uh I think it's what? Chocolate chip cookie dough, right? Is the one that we're making? Did it have chunks in it by any chance with cookie dough? I highly doubt it since it was unrefrigerated. I mean, it could have been like 
I don't know, freeze dried cookie dough or something, but I don't know how well that would really end up going in ice cream anyways. So I imagine it was just cookie dough flavored. Which is too bad, because I fucking love cookie dough. But it, it is what it is, you know, I'm not gonna fucking, I'm sure it'll taste delicious. <laughs> oh my god. If I ever get into a fight with someone, that's what I'm gonna tell them now. That's my new official one-liner when I'm mad at people. It's just fucking hungry. How about some pound cake as I smack my fist into my hand, you know? Just, mm. Uh, okay, this has got to, like... That's definitely a ramp that's going to go up in the air. There it is. I see the button. Okay, so we need we need we need buff boy. Um, buff boy, I need you to to move this for me, please, because all the other big buff aliens aren't aren't big and buff enough to to move this this little steel box here. You know, one thing I do appreciate about this game though is that I don't have to let go of the box to change the direction that I'm pushing it. More games could have done that. Like, for real. That's that's actually pretty cool. I'm glad they put that in there. Ah, oh, shit. We gotta go over. Yo, oh, fuck. Not that way. <laughs> there we go. And then, I'm guessing, just jump over here. Yeah! There we go. Look at us getting all the fucking golden cards and shit, dude. We're fancy as hell. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think back to games like uh, Legend of Zelda and shit like that. Where they always make you... You know, let go of the fucking box, move over to the other side of it, push it a little bit more. Oh fuck, I didn't push it over far enough the first time. Now I have to go back on the side of it again and push it over. And now I gotta finish pushing it back, let go, go to the front and finish pushing it back or whatever. Like, yeah, the fact that on this one you can just grab it anywhere and your character just kind of slowly rotates around it as you, as you change the direction that you're pushing it is actually really fucking nice. And other games could learn a thing or two from that. For sure. It's letting go and reorienting yourself and shit all the time. Just to move a fucking box around is actually kind of ridiculous. Am I the only one that every time they see a, a game that's that's not great? <laughs> AKA Ben 10 Protect of Earth. They just want to know what the speed run of the game looks like. Or if there even is a speed run of the game. I don't know if it's just like my desire for the game to end more quickly. Or if it's just because I there's a, there's a part of me that just likes bad broken games. But uh, yeah, every time I play a bad game, I'm just like, I wonder what the fucking speed run for this is like, dude. I bet I bet it's interesting. <laughs> like what kind of what kind of tricks can they do? Can they get out of bound and then just skip all of these pointless fucking fights? to get right to the right to the end to fight the boss or something like that because that's pretty fucking cool and if so how do they do it please so that i can do it myself now to get myself out of these these pointless repetitive fights at least the environments do look much more interesting in this one than the, the ones that we did in the first one like i would say i would say the art is actually pretty decent other than being you know fairly low res and the, the the actual like human character models look a little weird to me, but the alien ones look pretty pretty good. Uh, Sonic Rush because I don't know I like Accelerate. Of course, Mr. Roly Poly here too. He's uh I don't know man. He's like a mix of of strength and speed, which honestly he may end up being my new favorite. I need to fight some of those uh, paladins that we were fighting before so that I can see how he holds up against the big boys i don't know if these buffed up drones that we're fighting now are supposed to be as strong as those other guys or not but we're making pretty short work of them Sorry, buddy. A new and he has more than one one-liner which i appreciate too he helps uh helps keeps it a little fresh you know instead of doing the same or hearing the same fucking thing over and over again You gotta, you gotta take a win where you can get it, man. Uh, this guy. Okay. I want to see what move we unlocked with him. Is it square triangle? S circle triangle. What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, so that, that seems really powerful. But whenever we do it, we like, uh, we get, we get frozen for a second. We get, we get stunned for a second. I'm assuming like it just takes so much energy out of us or whatever. 
Then, yeah, then we're frozen for a second. Okay. So that's interesting. All right. It looks like we need Buff Boy um, to move the box. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Grab the box. Put box here. And then we'll probably need... Oh, no. Excuse me, sir. I was going under that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> For a second, I thought we were fucking, like, stunned underneath of it. Like, pinned under that fucking bridge. But no. I'm just fucking slow. That's all. Uh, roly-poly, please? Thank you. Ooh, not Ben. Ben, don't... You don't do the rolling here, sir. We leave that to the professionals, okay? Do we get a gold star? No, we didn't get fucking shit. What the hell? Where's my gold black star thingy, man? That's the whole reason I went over here like this. I, we probably had to go down to the bottom instead. Can we still go down? No. Oh shit, dude. You know, they figured out how to do scrolling in both directions, like for Mario 2 <laughs> on the fucking Nintendo. I think I think you probably could have figured it out, Ben Ten Creators, These whoever made this fucking game. These caused the plumbers mountains of trouble back in the day. Okay. Thanks for thanks for the info, Dad. Oh, so they're they're in the fucking air. So I just gotta jump and smack them out of the air. Like, I mean, it doesn't really seem. I I guess maybe a swarm of them would be pretty annoying. Because you got to smack them out of the air before you can really do anything to them. And they are, like, throwing explosives at you and shit. So I can see how a bunch of them would actually be pretty bad. But, like, fighting one or two at a time doesn't seem like a big deal, dude. You just fucking smack one out of the air and then beat the shit out of them. Maybe. Slowly. But surely. We'll get there. Oh, shit. Now there's three? Oh, fuck, man. We might be screwed here. Thank God we have infinite health. I'm just waiting until we, we like, find a boss or something that, that kicks the shit out of us. Because I've been sitting here talking so much shit on how easy the game is. Well, okay, I guess I haven't been talking that much shit on how easy the game is. But the game's fucking easy, dude. <laughs> like, because you do. You have infinite fucking health, essentially. I mean, I know, like, technically you don't. But, like, as long as you don't fucking... Um... Oh, shit. As long as you don't fucking lose all your health with, with Ben himself... You can always just switch back to, to the alien, which gives you full health on the alien and full health on, on Ben. So, like, where's the fucking worry? Okay, well, that was, that was kind of fucking scary, dude. Um, I don't know. Go this way? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. My thinking was if we went like to the side closer to the screen, we could see the back side of the screen. That way, if they did try to hide any secrets over there, we could we could see them and fucking collect them. Maybe. I'm bald and beautiful. I'm bald and beautiful. Squash, it's what's for dinner. Wow, I have a tear in my eye. It's so beautiful. Look, I'm, I'm glad they got that bald equality going on, though, dude. Like, I'll give them that, you know? Bald and beautiful. Hashtag that. With a, with a picture of your shiny ass head. Make sure you, like, really shine the hell out of it first, though. Where's Demon Lord when you need him? He's got a bald ass head. He needs to hear this message, man. You can be bald and beautiful. Oh my god, these guys are kind of... I'm, I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> because it's the same fucking enemies over and over. It's just wave after wave after wave of them. And it's not like they're not really introducing any new mechanics. That was the end of the level, apparently. So it's like we're just doing the same shit over and over again. We got one new mechanic, which is the ability to, to roll up ramps. Um, and they use that, what? L three times that it was necessary and then there was like one or two secrets and like that was it yeah i'm going to suggest for this one that y'all just skip it unless you're a really big ben 10 fan or a really big brawler fan although if you're a really big fan of like side scrolling brawlers you might not like this game just because i don't think it's a particularly good side scrolling brawler 
Now, granted, I'm no connoisseur of the of the genre. Maybe this is like perfection, and I'm just a fucking idiot. But I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Busy causing the world's biggest traffic jam. Kevin bolted into the forest, and Grandpa went after him. Somehow, I get the feeling that means I'm about to get splinters. The fuck does that mean? Just because we're moving through the forest, we're getting splinters? And don't be rubbing all up against random ass trees and shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there, man. You don't have to get splinters every time you go into the woods. But anyways, the the whole thing that I was trying to get to, uh, we have run out of time for the night. That was Ben 10 Protector of Earth. This was the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. Technically, I think game 100, but uh, we'll probably be doing a proper 100th game play on something else, man. Kingdom Hearts 2, Sly Cooper, something that I actually fucking enjoy. I don't know. Uh, but thank you guys. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming out and joining me for tonight. Uh, Catboy, Noodle, Nate, uh, Psycho, if you're still around. Anybody else who maybe came in and just hung out for a little bit, whether you, you, you know, said a hello in chat or not. I appreciate all of you, really. I do. Thank you for coming out. And uh, I will see you again, not tomorrow, but the day after. I will be back Thursday night with whatever that game is. Most likely Kingdom Hearts 2, but who knows? Maybe something else. As always, guys, have a good night and be kind to each other. Bye-bye. With this, uh, <laughs> this adapter and everything that I got going on, I don't even know if the analog stick works. Yeah, okay, the analog stick does work. I mean, obviously, resonance.